Welcome to the first discussion of the day. So today we're going to be breaking down, talking about possibilities of things set on the ban list. And I specifically wanted to straight dart on in here and talk about, yes, the Invoked Engine. Also, we're probably going to do a metagame discussion, so if you guys want to have that for Tuesday after we smash through Market Watch, give me some likes on this video. Come on, it's easy. Show me that you love me. That's all I'm asking. Remember to turn on the bell notifications, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, one big comment after another shows me some love. Let's dig on to this, shall we? Alright, so I always have some crazy outlandish statements here, and with Master Rule 5 right around the corner, so you need to understand, the beginning of this month, we have three weeks in March, where everything's going to be as it should be. And we start going into release of Dual Overload, and we hit Master Rule 5 early April, alright? With the impending Doom button, just boop, we have everything shifting where you can put monsters into the main monster zone now except for pendulums you need link arrows point to those and link monsters still have to start in the EDM and work their way down. Now with this being said though synchros, fusions, and exceed monsters will get to special summon wherever the heck they want. Alright now with this the invoked engine gets way better. Alright like you're lying if you don't understand the fundamentals of how, like, what we have now versus what we're going to have later. Like, it's going to be crazy good. And by crazy good, I mean 25% better, roughly. So, right now in the current format, we've been experiencing eh, some issues with some of the current invoked cards. Now, the whole Alistair engine itself is really good, but what's the problem? Right, like, what are we going to do? Because many players are like, they're clearly not going to kill the, the whole engine. And I agree with you. I don't think that we are going to go to the point where we're going to ban things out of the engine. No, that's that's absurd. So, first thing on the list is Alistair the Invoker himself. Now, Alistair just requires a summon to get. He gets the ability to search for invocation, which is alright. And then he gets the ability to uh, be discarded power up a invoked fusion monster uh, by 1,000, I believe it is, per uh, copy of him discarded. Alright, so it was clear that this whole archetype was meant to be very small. You had the one monster you would summon, you had the field spell, you had a spell card, you had the whole engine of fusion monsters to access. So, Alistair, okay, I don't think Alistair's going to have anything done to him, alright? Like, to be completely honest with you, the fact that he requires a normal summon was the reason why we were able to beat the deck. Like, you Ash it, you Veil or it, like, that that's fine, alright? Now, we get into Invocation itself, alright? So, Invocation banishes from the opponent's graveyard, also banishes from yours uh, to fulfill the requirements. It's, it's a good card, um... Most, and it's a generic, generic polymerization, essentially, you know, essentially missing the polymerization clause. So, once again, those two are fine. Now, the thing that I think is going to be the real target here is going to be the Magical Meltdown. So, first up, you have a card that says, on activation, search for Alistair. Alright, cool, well, with three copies of Meltdown and one Terraforming, you have four searchers, plus the three Alistairs themselves. You have seven ways to get to this, all right? Now, the thing that's causing problems with this spell card is the fact that it does not allow the opponent to respond to the fusions. Um, and by respond, I mean it basically is like, no, 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 no response for what you. And we are also having people asking the dumb questions of, can I respond to the Shadal Monsters effects that I am sending in combination with Magical Meltdown on the field? Ugh. This card is causing a ruling nightmare for the game. And looking at this card, in the past Konami does not like cards that effectively deny you the chance to play the game. Now, we both looked at Alistair, we've looked at Invocation, we said, alright, cool. And basically, both of these cards, they're okay. Alright, like, 
in, in the numbers that they are, I don't think that we're going to approach those. But when we look at Alistair him or at Magical Meltdown, card denies your opponent a response window. All right, well that's bad for the game. Card also searches for Alistair. Well, that's a, that's a question mark right there because Konami hates search cards. Terraforming also searches this. Um, terraforming in combination with the field spell is already rise or raising up the general consistency. And this card now is causing interactions that I don't think they necessarily thought that we were going to see in the game. You know, especially, I didn't think we would see Invoked combined with Shadal's. Like, I know we might dabble in it a little bit, like, Winda Macabo was good, like, initially, but I didn't know that we would, like, this would be the thing that we'd start doing. So, we have already got a pre-existing card now causing interesting interactions with things that have already started to come down. Now, I do think, um, this opinion's kind of wild. I think that Meltdown will be the thing that we're going to go after, because, honestly, there's nothing else really in the archetype that is dangerous. Now, I do think by hitting Meltdown, not only do you, you take away the unfair aspect, the aspect of, well, you know, you could still play one of this if your opponent has the Cosmic Cyclone or something to, you know, out it. Okay. Easy, right? Taken care of, banished, it's gone. Alright, cool. And on the flip side of things, by limiting this to one, you're basically creating a consistency hit. Now, many people talk about the, the two of a list um, on the limited section being a terrible thing for the game. You guys need to understand that the two ofs and some of the things that are limited to ones, they are literally consistency hits, all right? We still want Red Reboot and Panker Tops to exist in the game, but the problem is leaving these cards unchecked in such high numbers, basically you can find yourself in an unfair situation when you get multiples of them. All right, we can agree to that, all right? Having multiples of these blowout S cards it's really good. And now, same thing with looking at Magical Meltdown here. Card adds, card denies your opponent the chance to play the game. These are two very, very good things for the deck. And by eliminating two copies of this, putting it down to one, we've basically, we've done a consistency hit. We've still allowed the deck the chance to search. We've still allowed the deck the chance to not allow the opponent to play the game. And we have effectively checked the deck by limiting it in some degree. Now the issue becomes at this point, and we start looking at things like the fusions, all right? De most decks only play one Purgatrio, okay? Most decks only play one Kaliga, all right? Well, neither of these cards are worth banning. Makaba is a standard negator, all right? So many copies of him exist in the game, but we're not going to go after Makaba. There's no point, all right? I think decks max play two. Alright, so that's that's fine. Elysium doesn't matter. So, what you're telling me is the whole toolbox of fusions that we have, they're mediocre. By mediocre, they're they're up to the standard par of what you need in today's metagame is the toolbox. Alright? It's the fact that you have this whole ray of denying your opponent the chance to play the game that players do not understand is bad for the game. Now, like I said, back to the point of being merged with Shadals here. You had this whole thing I don't think was really tested for. Um, it definitely seeming more clear and clear now that uh, the whole Shadal interactions and things with Magical Meltdown raises you no know, whole new things. Like, do we test for this? Do we expect this? You know, do we expect Winda plus you know everything else to be this dangerous? I don't know, but for the most part of what we are now. I do foresee them going after something in the should all invoke deck. I don't think that we need to go after. I don't think we need to go after window. One window is fine as a floodgate. Um, you know, I still think she should be. If anything, we put it back to one because we're worried about putting two on the. <laughs> that's that's a real irrational thing right there. But the, the real question, like returns, it's like what. What do we do? Because at this point, the deck is doing very well. Maybe somebody's going to comment, they're going to be like, no, we don't have to hit the deck. And then Magical Meltdown gets limited to one, and half my comment section goes, oh, he was right, we called him a non, he, we called him an idiot. Like, oh. Now, 
what Konami's going to do in actuality is they're going to put Invocation to 1. They're going to leave Meltdown at 3. And they're going to leave Alistair at 3. They're going to be like, ah, oh, we did it. We hit the problem. Enjoy being able to get DD Crowed. And everybody's going to be like, really? That's the hit you do? Like, logically, it should be Meltdown. Um, all intents and purposes, it's probably going to be Invocation. But uh, that's... That's the uh, what-if approach. I, I don't know. Meltdown should probably go to one. Everything else is fine. That's how I see it. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.